quickly update you on what was going on in the video. There is a CDK stack to deploy an S3 bucket. The stack has a removal policy that was added and given a custom name. The error seen in this video is being caused by a not implemented exception because the apply removal policy is not implemented in code and the custom bucket name is passed to the constructor of the stack. It's not very relevant to know how the CDK stack works because this is about GitHub Actions, DevOps and automated deployment of a CDK stack into AWS. So what I've done is remove the line that was calling the apply removal policy method so that the error goes away and committing the change to the repository that contains the CDK stack. The CDK stack is a separate GitHub repository. The GitHub action is fetching and checking out the CDK stack repository, which is external to it. Having made the changes to the stack, it is now time to modify the YAML, which is the GitHub action. So we call the CDK command deploy to deploy the changes in the stack. The reason that you see the CDK stack in a rollback state is because of the previous error generating deployment, which caused the stack to roll back because there were two errors in it. One related to the apply removal policy and the other related to the bucket name. So it is just a con contrived example to destroy a stack that was already there. But if there is any error in, in the CDK stack code, then the deployment will automatically fail because the .NET build will not be able to compile the code. So with the changes made to the YAML script, I'm now pushing the YAML code into the GitHub Actions repository, which will trigger the workflow that will pull the CDK stack repository and build it and deploy it to AWS. The name of the CDK stack repository is CDK-Stacks. And the name of the GitHub Action repository is EF-DB-Migration. This is the same GitHub repository that I used in the previous video on uh, GitHub Actions and Azure SQL database. Since the errors have been removed from the CDK stack code, the workflow triggers and builds the CDK stack repository successfully and the CDK deploy command has begun the deployment. there was a hasty change made to the yaml script the destroy name remained as it was from the previous deployment so we're going to change that to deploy and recommit the yaml script only but this time with a more meaningful change which is invoking the diff command of the cdk utility the diff command is going to figure out if there is any difference in the metadata of the CDK stack and in the ML script we have an if condition which specifies that if there is any change in the CDK stack only then deploy otherwise ignore the deploy block. Basically, what this flow means is that the CDK stacks can be separately worked upon by the CDK developers 
and the DevOps team can create this workflow that will be triggered whenever there is any changes made or discovered in the CDK Stacks repository. As there were no changes made to the CDK stack, CDK diff did not find any difference and therefore the CDK deploy block did not get executed. The CDK diff command returns a value, there were no differences. Thank you for watching the video. Music